Hey everyone, welcome back. So Watchcatcher here, my name's Patrick, and today we're going to look at why watchcatchers don't like designer fashion brand watches and prefer, you know, actual watch brands. <music> find that a lot of the reason why watch collectors don't like designer fashion brands is the watches sure they say they're made out of gold and other stuff they've got a fancy brand on it you might know uh, however usually on the inside they're actually rather cheap and unlike having a true interested brand like a Casio Marlin here which is a you know nice watch but you know what you're getting when you pay for it you pay a lot more for something like this, and what you get isn't really that high quality. Um, a lot of the movements are very cheap. Um, yeah, don't worry about water resistance. 200 meter fully dive watch, proper stainless steel, full dive spec watch to... You wouldn't even want to wash your hands in the basin with it. So, let's uh, let's pull this open and actually have a look what's inside and the difference of these. And... Uh, yeah, something more like this Seiko here. We'll check out that. That makes why a watch that might cost the same new if you're buying them, but a hell of a lot of difference in actual quality of the watch. So let's uh, have a look at that. What we've got here is a selection of watches. And before you forget, let's throw in the uh, Seiko on the mix. Now, this Mark by Mark Jacobs is a fashion brand watch. Now it's meant to be pink gold coated uh, bracelet. This costs about $200 US brand new when it was out. Uh, I picked this up for two bucks from an op shop. So there you go, two dollars. Now that's about the same price as one of these $200 Seiko 5s. Now these are very nice watches. Um, 100 meter water resistance, full stainless steel, you know, date day complication has a full mechanical automatic movement now this is a proper watch and we also got here the Casio MD V106 that was the Marlin or Duro it's a full dive watch spec 200 meter water resistance stainless steel rotating bezel now I need to <laughs> Put a new pin in it because I uh, changed the strap and lost the pin. So I got to get to that. But here we go. So let's check them out. So let's get a little watch kit here. And let's start with this thing should do the trick. Now, let's check out what is inside this. Now, I'm not expecting to see anything too exciting in here. Yeah. Pull off the back and look at that. Just a little tiny cheap quartz movement. Nothing fancy at all. And look at the back. Stainless steel back. Doesn't even have a water resistance on it. Look them up online. The specs. It's 30 meters. So there you go. That's what you get inside a $200 US designer watch. Uh, and you can also see it's meant to be coated pink gold. You can see it's just sort of rubbing off there. It's not very good at all. So yeah, there you go. That's what you get with a fashion brand. Now, but this is pretty across the board with designer fashion brands. And some of the watches cost hundreds of dollars more than this or even thousands of dollars but you'll find the insides are just cheap crappy quartz next to no water resistance materials even though they say they're made out of gold plated or whatever like this one they're just really just nothing to write home about at all and when you compare that to a Seiko which is actually a very for its price range a very high quality watch full mechanical movement proper 100 meter water resistance in comparison or for a fraction of the price of this, you can get a Casio that is a full dive watch, full spec and everything, which has a quartz movement, very similar to this one. However, 
The difference is the build quality of this, of the actual case and everything, is so much higher. It's got a proper water resistance and all that. It more than makes up for it, and you know what you're getting. You're not paying for a brand name, even though Casio is a very good brand name in watches. Yeah, we'll find that in here will be probably pretty similar to what was inside that. So let's get the tool to open that watch. What else can we pop open? All right, before we get to that, let's get to this $9 Mandalorian watch. Look at that, pretty much the same thing. So there you have it. This is a $9 novelty watch from the shop. And then let's, let's just pop this one back open again. Look at them side by side. There you have it. It's got a plastic back, that one has a metal back, but still, it looks like you could swap these movements between each other, like the same. That's $9, that's $200. And they got the same water resistance. That's, that's why people do not like fashion watches, designer brand watches. If you like the look and the style of it, sure. If it's, if it's the look you got, and you want, then that, that's okay. You can go for it, get it for your look. But just know that you're not getting the quality that the luxury brand is making out that you're getting. You're buying the brand name, not a watch of actual quality. And that's why people, collectors, don't like buying these. So sure, $9 watch. You get it because you like it. But you know what you're getting. You know what's inside it. And that's it. Here we go. Here's a Ferrari watch, merchandise watch. I don't know how much this costs brand new. This is an old one. Nothing that, that exciting, but, you know, let's let's pop that open. It's not going to be any different. Look at that. There you go. It looks almost the same as the Mandalorian one. <laughs> it's got no battery. No wonder it didn't work. I mean, it's a good way if you're going to have watches in the store for a long time, take the batteries out so they don't spoil and wreck them. But there you go. That looks almost the same as one that was in the $9 Mandalorian watch. And that would have cost a bit more when that came out. So there you go. Let's put that back in there. Same thing. No water resistance. No nothing. It's just simply a brand logo on the front. Just know what you're buying. Now, at least with this, it's got an actual screw down back on it. So it makes it more water resistant so to open that all right so it's always handy to have the proper tool when you're doing these you don't scratch them and wreck them At least that, you actually get a cover to protect it. And under that is the movement. And there you go, you get the coil and everything. But look at that. You know what you're getting when you buy this. And I think that looks a lot nicer of a movement than what was in the other thing. So there you go. Inside of a MDV 106 Duro Marlin Casio. Put this back together. And look at that. Actually has a O-ring there to help make it waterproof. Keep a seal. And this is half the price of that. Yeah, proper screw crown seal to make it waterproof. And a nicer looking quartz movement. That had the same looking as a $9 novelty watch. So there you go. That's why watch collectors do not like fashion brands. You're not getting quality with the watch. You're just getting a brand slapped on it. And if you're buying it because you think it's quality, you're getting ripped off. If you buy it because you like the, like the look of the watch and you just like that, then that's fine. It's fashion, after all. You can like the look of something. You don't have to go for what's the best. But just know what it is when you're buying so you don't think you're buying some quality fancy thing. And you're actually getting ripped off. So yeah, that's why watch collectors don't like fashion brand watches. But the nice Seiko 5 here, which once again costs about the same as that brand new, has a full mechanical automatic 
movement. And the finish on this is so much better than this. This watch looks like it cost $5, and it probably did. Looks no different than this $9 watch. So, yeah, there you have it. That's why watch collectors don't like fashion brands, because you're getting ripped off if you think you're buying a quality watch. They're not. They're just a brand. So if you want to, you like the look and want to get it, that's fine. But just know what you're buying. And that's why other brands are so much better if you want to buy an actual quality watch for the same price. So there you have it. So there you have it. Now you can see why you can get a $9 watch that is just as good as fashion designer watches. So thank you for watching and checking out my video. Tune in next time to see what comes up next. Catch you later.